Hey guys, hope you're well. So in today's video, I want to show you how to set up normal mode on your transmitter. So at the moment, I have the Align TB40 and I've got Rotor Flight open here. And basically the way um, we've set this up, and if you watch my video that I've done before, creating your first helicopter, there's a uh, the, the thumbnail there. So this is where I take you through how to set up uh, basically a helicopter model on your TX16S. And what we've done here is we've basically used this throttle stick um, as our collective only. So as you can see there in rotor flight, when I move it, it moves the collective only, but the throttle, that channel underneath it, doesn't move at all. That is programmed to this switch over here. So when I flick that, you can see that comes on and that comes off. And I've recently had someone ask me, um, how do they basically, or how do we set normal mode and how do we make a throttle, um, you know, get activated or we use this stick for the throttle as well as collective. So this is the reason I'm, I'm doing this video. So the first thing is guys, I'm not gonna go through the whole helicopter setup again. I've done this in the video, so please go and watch that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference um, or the steps you need to do to, to make things um, to change things and get this stick to work and have normal mode. I'm also going to show you how to do idle up as well. So right here I'm in my TB40 and just a few things I want to show you. So under mixes, uh, sorry inputs, I just have my aileron elevator collective which is linked to the throttle as you can see it's linked to this stick here and my rudder. Now over here in my mixes you can see that my hold is channel six. So I've got my channel six, which is SF. This is basically my throttle channel. So I've got that set um, over there. And in my output, all I've done is I've called channel six. You can see it there, I called it hold. Okay, so there are three main things that I wanna point, point out. Um, okay, so let's have a look at what we're gonna do differently to change the setup. So the first thing, um, that I would do is I would, if you have a model already set up, uh, I would go to that model and I would simply click duplicate model. Can you see it there? Click duplicate model. Um, and that's basically what I've done. So I've created another model here and that model is um, the duplicate model. <coughs> So just to speed things up, everything's already set up, so I'm not gonna reset it up, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So if we now look back at rotor flight and look at my transmitter, notice that the collective and the throttle are moving together. Okay, see how they're moving together there? So now once we start moving our collective, our throttle starts to move as well. And there's a bit of a curve on there, and I'm gonna explain why that curve is there, but um, I'm gonna show you that in a second as well. So first things first, if I go into my MDL, and I go into my inputs, you'll notice there's a fifth input there called throttle. So I simply created another input, and I called it throttle, and I assigned it to that um, throttle. So I'm gonna click edit. It's just very basic, literally created a new one, called it throttle, and it's just a standard, um, if I show you there, just, just a standard curve there. Okay, so that's the first thing I've done. Then everything else is really done in mixes. So if we scroll down, if you look at channel six, which was called hold, I've renamed it throttle, and then basically I've added um, my different um, kind of mixes. So in the first mix, what I've basically done is I've gone in here, okay, my source is throttle. So I'm saying my source is going to be this stick over here. Okay, my weight is 100 and I'm assigning this to switch SG1, uh, SG up, sorry. So basically when this, um, switch SG is in that position, I want this to be activated. And then on, I assigned a throttle curve. So you can see on the curve there, 
there's a, a curve assigned. I then clicked on it. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Clicked on it there, and I clicked insert after, and that inserted that second line for me. And then I got into that second line, and basically I said my source, because now I want to get my idle up. So I said my source is again my SG, that button there. But this time, when the switch is SG in the middle position. So when this button is in the middle position, okay, this will activate this. And then I assigned another custom curve. I'm gonna look at custom curves in a minute. The other thing I did is if you click on this icon, you go to this multiplex, and this normally defaults to add, you've got different options, add, multiply, replace. This needs to be on replace. So that's one thing that is a bit of detail that you need to make sure you do. Okay, so you click on there and you change that from add to replace. You then do the same, you click there and you click insert after. This will give you another line and basically you do the same again. So your source is SG, your weight is 100, your switch is SG all the way down, SG. So when this is all the way down towards me, this will be activated and then you assign another custom curve that you want. And this time we're keeping it as add, so you've got the plus. Now most people just have three or two flight modes really. So you have your normal mode, which is that top line. Okay, you then have, and if you look there, I'm just gonna try and get the camera to focus here. Not working very well. But basically if I click that to the middle position, you can see it's now activated this one. And if I go all the way down, so I click it one more down, it's now activated that flight mode three. So this is flight mode two, flight mode three. I have a flight mode four, so I've set up another switch, basically doing the same thing with a flight mode four, but most people just have a flight mode two and three, like idle up one, idle up two, which is basically my flight mode two and three. Okay. And when I'm all the way at the back, that is gonna activate um, my normal mode, which is this over here, okay? And for my third flight mode, it's basically the same. You click on here, you click insert after again, and you go to here, edit, and then again, you assign it to the switches that you wanna assign it to and assign the curves. Now, let's have a quick look at our curves. So what I've done over here is I've got basically a curve for my flight mode two, a curve for my flight mode three, and a curve for my flight mode four. And these are basically just a flat line curve, which means these are like my idle ups. So when I'm in flight mode two, so when I click on this button over here, then basically I'm just gonna get a, a specific percentage um, on the motor, and it's gonna just uh, run at that, that percentage the whole time. So I'm just gonna click on here and explain some things on curves. <clears throat> so when you click on curves, the type you want is standard, okay? Um, you wanna give it a name, so this one's four. <coughs> and you're basically just adjusting, okay? We're, we're just simply adjusting the, the Y axis over there. Um, if you look at the X axis, Okay, you can see that you have, with Radio Master, you have minus 100, which is basically zero. You have minus 50, which is basically 25%. You have zero, which is 50%. You have 50, which is 75%. And you have 100, which is um, basically 100%. Uh, so this one is quite easy. I want it to be at 50% uh, the whole time. Uh, sorry, I want this to be at 75% which is basically value 50. And the way you work that out is there's a formula. The formula is basically your percentage times two minus 100. So if I want this to be 75, if I want to get 75% throttle, I would do 75 times two, which is 150 minus 100, which gives me 50. And that's why I enter in here. 
So in this one, I've got 60, and that basically gives me 80% um, throttle. Because if I do 80 times two, that's 160, and then minus 100 is 60. So that's basically 80% throttle. And in this one, I have 85% throttle, because 85 times two is 170, minus 170, so this is 85% throttle. Now, the final thing I've done um, is over here, is I have this very funny looking curve. Okay, and this is a 12 point curve for my throttle. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Now, the reason I have this curve, and it looks a bit weird, um, is basically because for some reason with rotor flight, or, or sorry, not necessarily with rotor flight, with, with the transmitter, um, and I don't know if it's the ESC or what it is, but when I'm trying to use normal mode, the motor is not actually coming on till, I'm, till the stick is roughly halfway. So once the stick's halfway, this is when the motor is coming on, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Now the problem here is, if you're flying there, and you're getting, you know, you're from 50% to 100%, and you're flying comfortably, if you drop ever so slightly below 50%, what happens is the motor's gonna stop, which is very dodgy, really. You don't want that to happen. So I'm simply using a curve to say, if I'm down here, the minute, or, you know, the minute I do a couple of clicks like that, I want my throttle go, to go straight up to 50%. And then I'm using a throttle curve from there to go all the way to the top. Now, the reason the curve is kind of mirrored, it's like the wrong way around, is because when you assign it, it actually changes. So let me show you what I mean. If I go to inputs, I go to throttle, and I go edit. Now, if I now go here, and I go to custom, and I pick my throttle, see how that's changed? It's the opposite direction. The curve's completely moved from one uh, side to the other. So now this is correct. The minute I lift that a little bit, I get straight to my 50%, my motor is gonna start here, and then I've got my curve. And you can do your curve however you want. Okay, but the main thing is I've got this curve to get me to that 50% very quickly so that I'm okay to be down here and my motor's not gonna switch off. But the minute I get below that, then my motor's gonna switch off, which is fine, because I'm basically right at the bottom anyway. So this is why we need this curve. Oh, sorry, I don't actually want this curve on there. So let's take, let's just take this curve off. Yeah, so I was just explaining to you there, guys, why, why we had that. Okay, so going back to our mixes, all we've then done is we've gone into every one of these and we've assigned the throttle curve that we want to have. So now, when this switch, is all the way to the back, I'm basically in normal mode and I'm using this to control my collective and my throttle. And then once I click on this button, then I go to idle up two, click it again, idle up three, and then I've created also a idle up four there. So you could see that it moves um, and I then I get the different um, the different uh, settings. So let's have a look at the helicopter and see how that works. Okay guys, so I've got my Align TB40 there. Um, and just to show you again on my transmitter, so I've got my Align TB40 uh, 2. Um, and if I go into here, I just wanna show you that I've actually just removed the throttle curve from my normal mode, just completely removed it because I want to show you this whole thing about 50% throttle. Okay, so I'm going to arm my helicopter and now watch what happens. I want you to watch the stick carefully. 
Okay, so I'm gonna push. Now nothing's happening because I'm not at 50% yet because I've removed that throttle curve. I'm still going. Okay, still nothing because I'm not at 50% yet. Still nothing, not at 50% yet. Now it starts. Right, now it's working. And it'll sit there at 50%. And then what I could do is I could increase You should really take the blades off in the back as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see there, guys, it's it's without that throttle curve, with a standard curve, it's only coming on. And again, look again, you can see it's only gonna come on at a 50% throttle which is very dangerous because the minute you go below it, it's gonna stop it, which you can easily do in flight. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that throttle curve back in. So while we're in here, edit, custom, throttle. Okay, so now I've added this throttle curve back in. Now let's have a look at how quickly that motor is gonna start now compared to before. See, see how quickly that started? Just a couple of quick notches there. Look, see it's starting all the way down there. Now it's gonna sit at 50%. Okay, so now it's sat at 50%, and then I can increase the bottom. Disarmament, sorry. So that's basically it. So this is basically um, is going to be your your normal modes there, and you're controlling your throttle with this stick as well as your collective. But if you want to use idle up, you can still have it on the switches because we have a, a flat line. So now I've armed it. This is like you could see is normal mode. Here you go, starting. Okay, but we could also just click these switches and go straight to idle up. Now, the good thing is, just gonna hold it, you don't have to make any changes in rotor flight. So the setup in rotor flight is exactly the same. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to do anything. You just need to follow these steps to create your different um, idle ups and to create your different mixes under channel six and that's all you have to do. So hopefully this has been helpful, hopefully it's been clear and showed you how to basically configure your transmitter so you use this stick as your throttle as well as your collective. Okay guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.